Remove the hand twisted nut that fixes the heated band. Take the heated band down and put it aside for later use. Be sure to collect the springs and hand twisted nuts under the heated band and do not lose them. Loosen the x-axis belt tensioner. Remove the two ends of the y-axis belt from the slider plate. Remove the screw that fixes the y-axis motor plastic part. And keep the screw for later use. Remove the entire Y-axis motor assembly. Remove the slider plate from the Y-shaped profile. And disassemble the screws and four POM wheels on it. Fix the M410 screws with M40 nuts onto two types of rail connectors. First, fix the guide connecting piece, the smaller one, with screws onto the Y-shaped rail. As close as possible to the side where the motor is located, you can compare it with the Y-motor kit. Be sure to only fix one side first. Then use M36 screws to fasten the linear slide rail, the smaller end, onto the guide connecting piece, but do not tighten the screws yet. Then position the other rail connector based on the installation holes on the linear guide rail.
fix the M316 screw, M3 nut, and limit switch bracket, printed part, onto the designated position of the slider fixing plate, there is only one, and this screw should be facing towards the Y limit switch. Then fix the slider fixing plate onto the slider using M36 screws. Fix the slider plate to the slider fixing plate using M58 screws. Making sure to secure the side with the smaller holes first. Remove the Y-axis motor. Rotate the output end 180 degrees. And fix it again. Use the screws removed in step 3 to secure the Y-axis motor kit. and connect the Y limit switch and Y motor cable. Secure both ends of the Y axis timing belt to the slider plate and adjust the tension of the Y axis timing belt.
Reassemble the heated bed plate, spring, and hand twist nut onto the slider plate. 